Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm taking your remaining month of January reading start from the 22nd through the 31st of January 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Gemini. So let's see what's coming up for Gemini's for the remaining month of January 2020. While I'm shuffling the cards, let me remind you it is a general reading it may not resonate with everyone out there. So just pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For a personal reading, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings and the link to that is also in the description box. And now, uh, yeah, I would like to make an announcement here. My younger sister has just started her YouTube channel and now uh, I'm going to leave the link to that in the comment section. Her channel is basically about uh, lifestyle, wealth, well-being and uh, health. So if you are interested to watch videos on those, you know, um, uh, topics, you can check out the channel and now. Uh, if you like it do subscribe to her channel and be a part of her youtube family as well so yeah let's uh, begin the reading let's see what's coming up for gemini's for the remaining month um i will be adding oracle cards as well around you know at the end of the reading um i'm not taking any charms today so you, the first card you have is the temperance somebody's feeling very hopeful somebody's feeling very balanced somebody's feeling very um Somebody is um, pretending to be hopeful. Somebody is pretending to be balanced. But deep down, there is a uh, there is certain fear that is kind of you know creeping in, you know, uh, slowly towards you know. It's it's um. Something is uh, bothering you for sure, but you are pretending to be okay. Somebody is definitely pretending it's not how it is. Um, there is something which is um, disturbing you right now. Let's find out more. The star. You do have fears. I don't know why. Why you are fearful even though there is nothing to be fearful about. There is like you know the fear is getting stronger and stronger within you regarding whatever it is. But it's... um. It's again, maybe because you are feeding your fear more than your faith, but that's coming up very strongly here with the Templin's card. Um, you can, uh, you know, you can, you know, be exactly how you're pretending to be. If and only if you choose um, to stay focused and stay positive around whatever area it is that you are feeling fearful right now. Um I feel like, you know, you, you feel that um, if you have a certain wish, if you have a certain uh, relationship, a person on your mind that you really want to make things work with, I feel like, you know, you are feeding more of your fear than your, than your faith into that relationship. Um, it could be you uh, thinking that this person is more, you know, maybe maybe this person is somebody who deserves better than me or something like that. There is certain, you know, it's, it's more like, you know, you're lacking confidence, which is basically making you, um, you know, it's, it's making the base of you having the fear of having the faith. Like, you know, it's, it's making your faith, you know, a little shaky over there because I feel like uh, um, if you had complete confidence in whatever it is that that is bothering you right now, it wouldn't be bothering you at first place. So there is definitely something which is bothering you, but you are pretending to be okay about it. It could be the energy of the person that you are dealing with as well. Like, you know, since these are general energies, so just pick how it is resonating with you in your situation. But there is certain fears that, that are kind of, you know, um, surrounding you right now, which you really need to let go of because um, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about anything right now. Things are pretty much, um, you know, exactly the way you would want them to be, but it's, it's you creating those um, unwanted um, issues. It's like, you know, it's, you know, whatever it is going to happen, which is not going to be something positive, it's definitely going to be because of you having that fearful thoughts around it. It's you who is basically creating, you know, um, something out of your, you know, um, you know, uh, out of your, your, uh, out of your, um, 
negative thought pattern i would say it's um it's you manifesting those negative things in your life so just stop doing that six of swords with the magician i mean the deck you do have two of swords i mean that you do have ace of cups two of cups the empress and i feel like um for those of you who um For those of you who really want to travel to see their partner or if you are, you know, uh, you know, if you have somebody in your life uh, who you would like to see and meet. Um, if you have fears around, like, you know, if this person is going to like me or not, don't have fears. Like, this person is going to love you. Just don't think, like, you know, I don't care, you know, how, how do you look. I don't care how that person looks. Like, the fear can make you lose the game or the faith can make you win the game. So it's you who has to choose which side of the story would you like to be on. Um, if you are going to choose to have faith, like, you know, I am the best person that they can get. So it's definitely going to be exactly how you are. You know, it's your energy which is going to be reflected to that person and that's how he or she is going to take you. So if you are thinking low of yourself, that person is definitely going to not like you at all. If you are thinking high of yourself, if you are thinking like, you know, you are the best or you have that, you know, thing that the other person is going to like you, he or she will definitely like you. So don't be fearful. If you have a date coming up around this time, if you are dating someone or if you are meeting somebody for the first time, go for it without hesitation, without feeling low for yourself. Because I feel like, you know, there's nothing that, that is bad about you, about the situation. For those of you who are going to meet the, you know, the, the, their in-laws or um, maybe you are going to meet the guy's parents or maybe you are going to meet the girl's parents, if that's what you are thinking or if that's you are fearful about, don't have any fear. Go with the with the with the strong positive attitude and everything is going to work out. Just stay positive because I feel like you know the only thing that you lack right now is the self-confidence, which you really need to give a boost to by maybe you, you need to say affirmations which can boost your confidence. Uh, if you're going for a work-related thing, like an interview or something, don't or oh, you know, don't don't um Think negatively. Don't tell yourself, no, I think they, you know, the other guy is going to be better than me. The other girl is going to be better than me. I think their interview went better than mine. So if you are going to think from that perspective, trust me, they will do better than you. If you are thinking or if you keep telling your mind that this person is going to be better than me, then that is definitely going to happen. Because whether you want it or you don't, you are 24-7 manifesting what you are wishing and hoping or what you are telling your mind over and over again. So that's becoming your reality. If you focus on the negative things, that's going to come true for you. So don't let that happen. Um, when it comes to your love life, I feel like um, if you have fear that, you know, maybe this person is not going to like you, this person is going to like the other girl or the other guy, that's going to happen for sure. So don't, um, you know, don't go there. Like, you know, just keep thinking as if you are the most good looking person on the face of the earth and this person is going to fall in love with you the moment they're going to see you. If you go with that mindset, no matter how uh, how big you are, no matter how uh, thin you are, no matter how um, how you feel about you, it's it's like you know nothing's gonna um, you know push this person away from you. If you go with that confidence, and uh, again, you know you cannot attract the right person or the right love if you don't love yourself. So you really have to value yourself first before you uh, you expect the other person to value you. So just go with that as well. Um, but I feel like, you know, if and only if you could stay uh, the way you are pretending to be, trust me, everything is going to work out for you during this, uh, you know, this remaining month of January as well. So stay positive and, you know, go with the confidence. Um, they are going to like you for sure. <laughs> I don't know, I'm thinking of date energy more than anything else. Like, you know, the confusion that you have when, you've, you, when you're going to meet the person for the first time. That's what I'm picking up more than anything else. So just go with confidence. It's it's all good. They are definitely going to like you. Don't don't worry about it. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. Ta da! If you think you are, certainly trust me. That person is going to be like you know in love with that kind of a person that you are. Like you know, um, if you think I'm so you know um not the type that the, you know uh girls or the guys are these days. Trust me, this person loves that kind of person. Like, you know, just, just go the way you want or the way you are. Just go with that. 
So there is going to be that chemistry with you and you know within you with the between the two of you. They're gonna love you the way you are. So just just be confident. Review and contemplation. You have accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next. As you contemplate the past and the present, you will get clear on your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by the conventional thinking. Be real. Be the real you. Like I said, it's high time that you, you that you be who you are. Love the way you love yourself the way you are, and let that kind of you know reflect it to the other person. Like you know, the other person is going to pick up your vibe. If you're very you know, um, not confident at all about the way you look, about the way you dress, about the way you speak, you know, they are going to feel that you are you know you are somebody very uh not their type like you know if you feel that i am you know their type if you, you can make an affirmation around that as well and go with you know uh, that affirmation before you meet this person around the end of the uh, month so it's like you know you do have time if you have already met that person and if you have you know gotten confused and you know you you uh spoil the things for yourself i would suggest you to um close your eyes revisit that you know that meeting and think of that person and correct whatever you did wrong in that particular meeting and you know keep repeating that until and unless you get the vibe that you know things went well between the two of you trust me it's gonna boost um the positivity around this relationship and things will work out for the two of you so just just go with the confidence with this person with the with the family if you are meeting the family even then too <sighs> um I find a deeper meaning, a personal growth, and the amid the discomfort. It's um it's again the same thing. Um It's, it's more like you know maybe um like i said you know maybe you maybe you don't uh, you don't you know um you you um maybe you feel like you know i'm out of their league but at the same time that's that's something which makes you who you are there could be a sense of discomfort at times you know being somebody different from the group of people that you know you are living in but there is a sense of satisfaction too in that there is a sense of uh, personal growth where you, you where you acknowledge how you are and then start embracing it and start living the life that the way you like like you know not the way the other people want you to live it's 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 liberating it's um empowering as well so just you know just embrace that growth that personal growth that comes along with it and yeah just go ahead don't have any fear around anything trust me everything is going to work out well for you i wish you all the best if you are meeting the person or you know maybe their parents or something everything is going to work out well for the two of you so yeah um uh, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time for the remaining month of uh, january i would say um so yeah till i do the next reading for you guys take care Bye bye